Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for May 14th, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawkwatch. Today was overcast with just a bit of sun here and there and a few rain showers towards the end of the day. The winds were moderate to strong out of the east to start and then switching mostly to southeast. This is a great time of year with lots of bright, pretty birds in flowering trees. Here we have a Baltimore Oriole. This male ruby-throated hummingbird perched up nicely, letting me get my first good photos of this species for the year. Here we have a small songbird that's pretty much all blue. This is an indigo bunting. Here we have a red songbird with black wings. This is a male scarlet tanager. Here we have a flyover female scarlet tanager, which is just kind of a plain yellow color. Here we have a small raptor with pointed wings, so we should be thinking falcon, and we see a lot of dark streaking underneath and a dark tail with some white bands. This is a merlin, and this is a typical look at a merlin because they're gone before they get there. They're really fast and just zip through. Here we have another small raptor. On this one we see rounded wing tips, so this is a hawk. We see a long tail and we see a small head and sort of some blobby brown streaking to the underside. This is a juvenile sharp-shinned hawk. Here we have a large, lanky, black and white raptor that's drooping its wings a little bit as it's coming in. This is an osprey. This is a species that we normally see soaring, but with the headwind today, they were low and flapping through, and they also droop their wings a little bit. But this is a beautio. We see relatively pointed wings on it and some brown streaking to the underside and some missing feathers where it's molting. This is a juvenile broad-winged hawk, and this one's pretty lightly marked. Compare that to this juvenile broad-winged hawk that is a little bit more heavily marked underneath. And compare that to this juvenile broad-winged hawk, which has a lot of wear to the wingtips and the tail. Here we have another beautio. This one's a bit bigger and bulkier. We see a dark belly band that contrasts with the clean breast, and we see dark patagial bars. This is a red-tailed hawk, and we do not have a dark, bold trailing edge to the wings or a red tail, so this is a juvenile. Here we have two birds flying together and they're the same shape and size because they're the same species. On the bottom we see one that's all black with some yellowish color to the back of the neck. This is a male bobolink and above it is the female which is more of a plain yellowish color. Here we have a small raptor with pointed wings but this one's more lightly colored underneath and has a distinctive facial pattern. This is a female American kestrel. Here we have a small compact beautia with pointed wingtips, brown barring to the underside of the body, a dark trailing edge to the wings, and a dark tail with a white band. This is an adult broad-winged hawk. Here we have a relatively small white bird. We see somewhat pointed wingtips on this. We see some black to the trailing edge of the primaries and a black tip to the tail, some pink legs and feet, and a very thin black bill and a black dot behind the eye. This is an immature Bonaparte skull. And here's another immature Bonaparte's gall that was squawking as it flew, and this gives us a little bit of the look of that upper wing pattern. There were a few Bonaparte's galls, and they were flying with this species. Here we have another white water bird, but we see very angular wings with very long pointed wingtips. We see a more reddish bill on this, maybe a little bit of a black cap we can make out in a very long streaming tail. This is a common turn. Overall, the birding in the morning felt a little bit slow. We just didn't have great variety on the warblers, but we ended up with a total of 90 species for the day, so I guess we can't complain too much. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrating raptor totals, today we had 50 turkey vultures, 5 ospreys, 7 bald eagles. We had 3 northern harriers, 22 sharp-shinned hawks, 2 cooper's hawks. We had 86 broad-winged hawks, 7 red-tailed hawks, and 1 light morph rough-legged hawk, which is probably the same one that went through Braddock Bay yesterday. And we had the falcon trifecta with one each of American Kestrel, Merlin, and Peregrine Falcon for a total of 186 migrating raptors. That brings the May total to 6,715 and the season total to 84,973. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, it's looking cloudy with the high in the mid-70s and light southerly winds, so it's a favorable wind direction, but it's fairly light, so there's a chance that the lake breeze could kick in, especially in the afternoon, and send us down to the south lookout. I'd expect light, maybe moderate migration. 
For Friday, they're calling for mostly cloudy skies with showers and a few thunderstorms, a high in the mid-70s, and winds south-southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So again, a fairly favorable wind direction, but pretty light, and we'll have to see what ends up happening with that rain. And for Saturday, they're calling for morning thunderstorms and variable clouds with a high in the mid-60s, winds southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. So as long as it's not raining too much, we could end up with a decent flight with those good, strong southwest winds. All right, another decent day of birding. Really, it felt a little underwhelming in the morning birding, and then the hawk flight felt a little underwhelming. But overall, we actually ended up with a pretty good list, and picking up the rough-legged hawk and the peregrine falcon in the afternoon really boosted the raptor variety. And this time of year, there really isn't a bad day because there's so many birds around, and you never know what's going to show up. Any day, you could get a really rare bird. So I hope to see you soon out at Derby Hill. From LEGO Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.